Hi friends and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So I was going to do a little intro in my kitchen as I showed you or talked about what I had for breakfast, but we are currently having our backyard fence installed. So they are installing that right now and it's pretty loud. I think you guys might still be able to hear it even though I'm far away from the kitchen. But today I thought I would do a little fall what I eat in a day. Um, you guys love when I do these videos and of course before getting into the video, I do want to do a little disclaimer and say that when I do these videos in no way am I saying that if you eat exactly like this you will look exactly like me that is not the case everybody's body is different but I simply make these videos for inspiration and I love watching these videos myself or like TikToks of these because it just gives me so many like different um, inspiration for recipes so I thought I would do a little fall version of a what I eat in a day because it is fall here in Florida and I say air quotes because in the morning it's really cold now but or really cold it's like 60s I know it's not really cold to some people um but in the afternoon it's like 80 degrees so as you guys saw for breakfast I had my smoothie which I typically like to have the same thing for breakfast for a long time so if you guys watched my previous what I eat in a day video I had basically the, almost the same exact smoothie. The only thing that I have changed, because again, I'm in a fall mood, um, I still have a scoop of chocolate protein, but then now I've added a scoop of PB2, um, their peanut butter with cocoa powder, and it just tastes literally like a Reese's smoothie. It is so good. Also, I don't think I showed it in the video, but I had um, or added flax seeds and chia seeds and hemp seeds, my three seed blend. So that just gives my omega threes and six for the day. But what's super exciting is that PB2 is actually working with me in today's video. And y'all, this is like a huge full circle moment. Did I say circle weird? This is a huge full circle moment for me because I have been using PB2 since I started my fitness journey since high school and now to be able to work with such a huge company. And if you guys didn't know, they are the original peanut butter powder. Um, so that is just like a huge full circle moment for me and I'm so excited to be working with them in today's video. So the number one reason why I've been using PB2 for so many years and why I'm sure so many other people use them is because powdered peanut butter actually has way less sugar and way less fat compared to peanut butter like in a jar. And PB2's original powdered peanut butter actually has 90% less fat than peanut butter in a jar, which is amazing. And another reason why I love PB2 is that you can literally use them in so many different ways. So for example, you can put them in a smoothie like I did, or put them in a recipe, or even make it into a paste if you want it like on your toast. And if you guys wanna buy PB2, you can actually go on their website and find a product locator so you can find a retailer closest to you, or you can just buy it off their website. So yeah, like I said, I just put a scoop of their peanut butter powder with cocoa mix. They have so many different varieties, like I said, um, but I like this one in my smoothie because it tastes like a Reese's. And also in my smoothie, I have strawberries, blueberries, bananas, spinach, and kale, I'm pretty sure. So this smoothie that I have every single morning is super nutrient dense and it has all my healthy macros. Also, as you guys saw, I just added a little pumpkin muffin that I made like a couple nights ago and it's the Trader Joe's gluten-free mix and it is the best thing I've ever had. It is so moist. Oh, I know some people hate that word, but it was so just soft and gooey and I just throw it in the microwave for like 10 seconds and it was just heaven. Um, so I had a little sweets and then I also had a little spice for my breakfast. And then for the rest of the day, for lunch, for dinner, and for dessert, I have so many delicious meals planned that I can't wait to show you guys. But yeah, first we need to go to the grocery store because I need some ingredients for these recipes that I'm making. So let's head to the grocery store. But I wanted to show you guys my top three PB2 products currently. I obviously have more and I love all of them, but these are like my top three. So this is the one that I used this morning. I just put about a tablespoon and a half and it just makes my smoothie tastes 
literally like a Reese's cup. And then this one is their classic, just PB2 powdered peanut butter. And like I said in the voiceover, this is 90% less fat compared to like jarred peanut butter, which is amazing. And then this last one is a new favorite of mine and it is their almond protein plant powder with Madagascar vanilla. And the smell of this is so yummy. I cannot wait to try this in like my smoothie. I'm sure it'll taste so yummy. And it has 20 grams of complete protein per serving with only, let's see, 4.5 grams of total fat. So that is amazing. But like I said, this smell so good. These are my current favorites. Um, I think I'm going to use this one for my dessert recipe tonight, which I'm super excited about. So let's head to the grocery store and get all the ingredients for tonight's recipe. I found somebody I say you don't cross my mind Okay, so I'm back home from Publix, so I thought I would do a little grocery haul. Okay, so the celery and the carrots and the onion and the corn and the peas and the rotisserie chicken and I think that's it, um, is all for the soup that I'm making tonight. And then I have some strawberries that I'm gonna add for my lunch that I'm about to make. And then I saw this brand at Costco when I went the other day. And I actually used to drink kombucha all the time, like a couple years ago but I just all of a sudden just stopped out of nowhere I don't know why um, and I normally drink the brand synergy but I saw this at Costco and I was thinking about getting a whole box but I was a little nervous to buy a whole box without trying it and my Publix actually had a single one so this is their strawberry lemonade and I've heard great things about this brand because it has um, way less sugar compared to other brands so we're gonna have that with my lunch um, and then what else do we have? Oh, forgot to mention little yellow potatoes for the soup and then some spring mix. I normally get a big one from Costco, but I forgot and I don't want to drive all the way to Costco because we do live pretty far from Costco now. So I just got a little bag of that and then some coconut flakes. I really wanted unsweetened coconut flakes for my recipe for dessert tonight, but they only had sweetened, but it's okay. Just makes it a little bit more sweet. And then this Honeycrisp apple for my lunch. And then a pink Himalayan salt. Love this brand. And some allspice for my dessert. And then vanilla extract for my dessert as well. So that is my little Publix haul. I'm gonna put all of this away and then make lunch. Oh, totally forgot to mention. I got organic pumpkin puree and coconut milk for my dessert as well. Okay, we're gonna do a little taste test of the kombucha. And I have been like wanting to put kombucha in a wine glass for so long now. I was inspired by Allison Bickerstaff. It's a whole mood when you do it. So, and also I'm not like, I'm not an alcoholic drinker. I don't like alcohol, not a big fan at all. Um, but I got these glasses. Um, actually, it was a wedding gift. So, might as well put it to good use. So we're just gonna be a little bougie, do a little taste test. Cheers. Wow, this is really good. <laughs> oh wow, it has a lot of vitamin B12. Your girl's gonna have a lot of energy today. Also, I'm going to play this playlist that I found on TikTok. It's called Jazz Music to Play in the Background While Cooking. Very specific, but I, have been obsessed with listening to this while like cooking dinner or doing the dishes or something and I literally feel like like I'm a main character of a movie. I'm gonna listen to this while sipping on my kombucha out of a wine glass. We're getting that girl vibes or like main character vibes. You know what I mean? And she doesn't know that your favorite place is still mine Now I take the long way home Avoid what I can let go I don't always think about you But sometimes I do Cause sometimes I drive through All 
all of the streets we used to on First Avenue. Cause sometimes I don't even know where I'm going at first. All of the turns that I had to unlearn. Back to the surface, the feeling of all that we were. Okay, so for lunch, I decided to make a little fall harvest salad. I've seen these all over Pinterest lately, so I thought I would make one today, and I actually used to make something pretty similar to this in the summertime, and I absolutely loved it. So I have some spring mix salad, um, some strawberries, some honey crisp apples, some chopped walnuts, or not chopped, I literally crunched them up with my own hand, and some rotisserie chicken from the rotisserie that I got from Publix that I'm also going to use for dinner tonight. But what I love about fall harvest salads is that they are filled with so many micronutrients. They have so many different veggies and fruits and protein. So it's just a very good um, all around like lunch recipe because you'll have all of your good macros inside of it as well. I don't always think about you till first heaven. That's when I do Okay, so it's a couple hours later. I've been literally cleaning up the whole entire house, doing laundry, all that fun stuff. So I am hungry now for a little snack. So I have some sliced carrots with some hummus and then a protein shake to go with it. I haven't added water in it. That's why it's just the powder inside of it. So I'm actually going to snack on this while prepping for dinner because I gotta start now. It's already getting a little late and Sean is on his way home. So I'm gonna snack on this while prepping for dinner. So this is our dinner. It's just a soup with all the ingredients that I showed you guys earlier with some shredded rotisserie chicken. And I also used um, chicken broth, so that is really good for your gut and it's higher in protein. Also, we are pairing this with some gluten-free sourdough toast.
Okay, so for dessert, I made these peanut butter pumpkin bites off of PB2's website. And I definitely recommend doubling the ingredients if you want more. I literally only got five out of all of the mix together. It smells good. Mm. These taste like fall. This is what it looks like in the middle. So we spent like an hour or so just relaxing on the couch, watching Netflix, eating our dessert, but I don't know if you guys can tell, I am so tired. I think I'm just gonna go shower and then go straight to bed. Um, we might stay up and watch our show. I don't know. We'll see, but I am exhausted. So I think I'm going to end today's video here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know a lot of you guys like my what I eat in a day videos, so I do plan on coming out with many, many more. Um, also, I will have all the recipes of what I made down below in the description box, so make sure you guys check that out. This little stray is bothering me, but... Anyways, again, thank you so much for watching. If you guys haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe if you like more videos like this. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.